Hi, this video is going to be about low probability and genetics, and today's problem is what are the chances to get triplet codons made from the four nucleotides adenine, uracil, guanine and cytosine containing A no uracils and B one or more uracils. And if you know how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So first of all, let me list four nucleotides, and this is going to be adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine. And as you see, we have here uracil, so we can find these nucleotides on the message RNA. And if we would have here zymine, we would find such nucleotides on the uh, any of the DNA strands. So uh, now we have to find uh, how many different combinations exist uh, in order to make a triplet using these four nucleotides. So let me draw three boxes that would represent three positions in uh, trinucleotide or codon or other word would be triplet. So uh, we have here four nucleotides and uh, in order to fill the first position we can choose any of these. So we have four different variants how we can fill the first position. And when we fill in the first position it doesn't mean that we lose one of these uh, nucleotides because we have to assume that uh, our solution have uh, a numerous number of them, each of them. So when we use one of them, it would be replaced instantly with uh, other nucleotides of the same kind. So uh, we would have the same chances uh, to fill in or variance to fill in the second position and third position. So as you see, the total number of combinations that exist would be 64. And if you remember, uh, codon table have 64 cells, and we have three uh, triplets that code for the stop codon, one for the start codon, and 60 that code for the uh, 20 amino acids. So 64 uh, different variants exist. So uh, now let's answer the first question how many out of 64 combinations exist where there is no uracil. So uh, let's now once again take a look at our nucleotides and we have four of them and three of them are not uracils. So what our uh, combinations, variants or chances to fill in the first position that is going to be uh, with uh, nucleotides that is going to be not a uracil. And as you see, the chances would be 3 out of 4. So we can only use 3 out of 4 nucleotides uh, in order to fill in the first position. And the same rule applies to the second position. We only can use three out of four nucleotides to fill in the second position. And once again, three out of four chances and combinations exist how we can fill in the third position. And now we have to multiply all this uh, probabilities and uh, 3 multiplied by 3 going to be 9 multiplied by 3 going to be 27 so 27 out of 64 uh, variants exist where we can make a um, triplet with no uracil so this is going to be our answer for the first question and in order to answer the second question 
What are the chances to get triplet codons made from the four nucleotides uh, where one or more where we have one or more uracil in triplet? And in order to answer this question, we have to use simple formula where we have sixty four over sixty four minus 27 divided by 64. So this is going to be our uh, number that we got in our previous um, un that we got answering our previous question and this is going to be number of uh, triplets that doesn't contain uh, uracils. So that means that the rest would contain at least one uracil, two or three. And this is going to be 1, 64 divided by 64 going to be 1. So when we um, deduct this number from this number, we are going to get an answer how many different combinations exist, uh, how we can make a triplet with uh, at least one uracil. And this is going to be 37 out of 64. So this is going to be our answer for the second question. So 37 combinations out of 64 would contain at least one uracil. And uh, we can check our answer uh, here just looking at this uh, codon usage table. And uh, here I just want to remind you this is the first position and uh, four different nucleotides we can choose for the first position. This is going to be uh, second position we can choose from any of these nucleotides and this is third positions. So as you see uh, here we have uh, 64 combinations as I said three of them would be would code for the stop codon and one would code for the uh, one of the amino acids at and at the same time this amino acid also code for the start codon so uh, total number of the amino acids that we have here is 20 and uh, they are caught by 60 one combinations. So uh, some of them may be uh, caught by only two combinations and some of them can be caught as many as six different combinations. Now let's count how many combinations here we have where we have at least one uracil. So here we have three uracils and here we have two uracils so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. And I just want to remind you that in our answer here we got uh, 30 seven out of sixty four combinations that would contain at least one uracil. So we checked our answers and our answers are correct and uh, this is how you can find the answer using mathematical method. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.